I'm Clifford Omondi. I'm an hydroclimatologist. And today you realize in most parts of our country, we are facing uh, variability in terms of uh, weather system. And that is an impact of climate change. And more so putting pressure on water resources. And factors that put pressure on water resources include uh, 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 pollution of the environment, we have varying state of uh, living standards, land use, land cover systems, and population increase. So because of rainfall vari variability, you realize that most of our water resources are stressed. And uh, we are talking about both underground and surface water resources. Now, particularly on surface water resources, we are referring to our rivers. Looking at the spatial design of the uh, drainage system in Homer Bay County especially, you realize that most of our rivers are drying, a drying hub, and uh, there is total decline of water. Look at our Chitende, our Chikibuon, Riana, Maugo, rivers like Nyakuamba and even River Lambwe in Suba North. Have, uh, are drying and have uh, uh, reduced uh, water levels. That is an impact of climate change. Because when there is variability in temperature, like for instance now we have uh, risen, rising temperatures that causes aridity. And aridity results to uh, stress on water resources. That is there is a lot of evapotranspiration. There is loss of soil moisture and then uh, percolation into the ground uh, is also affected and that causes uh, scientifically a decline, a total decline in water resources. And therefore that is why we are advocating that people should be able to uh, adapt in a way that can conserve our, our rivers. We should plant uh, specific species of trees along the river bank. Then we avoid polluting our rivers so that we have enough uh, underground and surface water in our rivers.